So recently you've probably seen ChatGPT all over the internet and it's making people ask all sorts of questions. I'm a pharmacist, I've worked as a pharmacist for seven years now and I'm going to ask the question whether or not ChatGPT can replace a pharmacist. So what we're going to try to do is we're tr trying to ask a few questions to ChatGPT and see what responses it comes out with. So where do we begin? The first question I'm going to ask is, is doxycycline suitable for a nine year old child? The answer should be no. Okay, so interesting um, first response. As a like AI language model, I'm not qualified to provide medical advice was the first. So I think it's because it's, I'm directly asking the question, um, I'm sure I can test it to its limits. So let's think of something else. What age is doxycycline suitable for? Prescribed for, maybe. Mm, okay, this is a very interesting response. So as you can see, it's being formulated on the screen. Doxycycline is an antibiotic med medication prescribed for a variety of bacterial infections. Of course, that's correct. It says the age at which it can be prescribed depends on the specific medication, medical condition being treated. So, uh, that is an interesting statement. Uh, and it depends on the child's weight, health, and medical history. It says, for example, doxycycline is generally not prescribed to patients under the age of eight. This threshold is 12 years old in the UK. So I'm not sure if the age of eight threshold is something from another country. That's very interesting and that's something I want to look up after. Let me ask, what is the minimum age in the UK? It says it's, oh, very interesting response. Determined by the MHRA, determined by the DNF, and then it's giving me the 12 year old threshold. So that means that it's getting the eight year old threshold from another country. I'm going to assume, but then I, people will probably correct me in the comments, it's from the US and then it's corrected itself. Well, it's highlighted that in the UK, it knows that the minimum threshold, the minimum age is 12 years. So that's very interesting. Um, okay. What, what would, let's say, what should I prescribe for, maybe this, um, I'm asking it so directly here. What should I prescribe for necrotizing otitis externa? Okay, so it's answering the question. It says here the antibiotic of choice is, is usually ciprofloxacin, which is administered orally or intravenously. Other antibiotics that may be used are piperacillin tazobactam. So very interesting response here. The antibiotic of choice in the UK is piperacillin tazobactam. We don't like to, uh, so it depends, right? There's, because I'm gonna, instead of jumping into so it depends on the criteria of the hospitals. Quite often you'll see keftazidine um, given alongside ciprofloxacin. This is in accordance with uh, UK guidance. Um, so the options are correct. The order in which it's given the options, we wouldn't go for ciprofloxacin monotherapy unless we were forced. So interesting response. Now, I'm not I've not lost faith in the options that are being given. I'm just a bit mindful that someone with the knowledge base um, of these conditions needs to be using this information. So let's think of another question. Is, is Colmoxiclav suitable for a patient 
with a penicillin allergy. So here we've got this combination of moxicillin and clavulanic acid, which is correct. And it also highlights that those with a history of allergies to penicillins or other b selectum antibiotics should not take Comox Clav or any other penicillin antibiotics. So that's correct as well. So it's highlighted uh, that which is important. Let's think of... So for urinary tract infections, um, we often now we have highlighted the importance of taking into account resistance and because we're taking this into account we often use trimethoprim less so i'm going to say would trimethoprim be the first line treatment for a lower uti in the uk So here it's highlighted that it is one of the first line antibiotics recommended for the treatment of lower UTIs in non-pregnant women in the UK. So it's, this is not, by saying one of, this is not, this is not wrong. Um, it also says that the NICE guidelines recommends it as the first line. So in this first paragraph, there's no mention of resistance, which is very important. Other first line antibiotics include nitroferentoin, phosphomycin, and pivmacillina. This is true. These are other options for urinary tract infections. Okay, very interesting here. There is no mention. I'm asking about UK guidance. There is no mention of resistance for trimethoprim in particular. There's a generalized statement about antibiotic resistant patterns in the local community, which is true. However, this is general, and this is not highlighting that trimethoprim has higher rates of resistance. So, particularly with E. coli that's causing urinary tract infections. So, that is a, a very interesting response. Let's try to give it some, some more, uh, let's say some more over-the-counter advice. So, for the treatment of athletes. Just tell me it's common fungal infection uh, between the skin of the toes as well as the soles of the feet. It may involve topical or oral antifungal medications. For mild cases, so it's differentiating between mild and severe cases. It says you can use topical antifungal cream sprays. It's very, um, very vague here. It's not specifying a particular agent at this stage. And then it's saying products could contain either clotrimazole, uh, myconazole, tabinafine. The so they've given it quite a few options. Then they've said it, if it's severe, I like the way I'm referring to ChatGPT as they. Um, so then it said. Uh, that if it's severe, then you may need oral antifungals. Um, so these medications may take several weeks uh, to have an impact. So the advice is correct. The advice is correct. The advice, however, it's not specifi specifying for me a particular treatment because I haven't asked for it. If what, which cream would you recommend? for a mild athlete's foot infection. Okay, so I've asked the question, what would you recommend for a mild athlete's foot infection and which cream in particular? But again, it's staying very general with the advice it's given. It's given me some brand names um, for particular creams that are available. But this is, I'm happy with these answers because by providing different options and not narrowing down on one, it's a safer response. Um, but again, this is a, these particular questions, I feel like you can find this information online. It's, those, it's where there's the nuanced information that we're asking about. So trimethoprim as a first line treatment and considering resistance patterns 
for trimethoprim and E. coli, it doesn't quite pick those things up. But very impressive information nonetheless. If you enjoyed this video, drop a comment. I can test AI with pharmacy related questions, healthcare related questions. Also subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.